Well, hello, beauties. It just started raining just right now when I started uh, preparing to talk to you. So I think that means we're in for some luck. So we're going to have a good luck today, all of us. Okay, I want to share just um, something of personal interest to me, if you'll indulge me a little bit. There's a new um, artist out. He's a singer, songwriter. He's been out for a month. So a month ago, nobody knew who this guy was. So his professional name is Oliver Anthony. His actual name is Chris. Um, so he named his the name of his what he does is Oliver Anthony Music. Now maybe some of you have already heard of him by now. He's been all over the media and social media. And um, so I discovered him a month ago, kind of when he was just getting going. And um, so this guy, he doesn't have a record label. He, he He's not attached to the industry, the music industry in any way. He's just singing songs that he wrote in on his land. He lives, I think, I believe it's West Virginia. So he has some land there and a trailer and uh, he has a family and everything. But he's just singing out in the, the wilderness, which is his land. The, just really incredible songs. Um, he's, a, he's a massive talent and... Um, I want to share it with you for a couple of reasons. So, and by the way, so within, a, I think, two weeks, he had the number one song in the country, according to Billboard, without any industry affiliation at all, just based on um, iTunes. He was number one, two, and three on iTunes, and then number one uh, on Billboard. And I think he had several songs on the Billboard Hot 100, I think. I don't really know how all that works. Um, but it's, it's just phenomenal what we're seeing in our culture. And this is something unique about America. That for some reason we have a culture that is dynamic. And it has this self-correcting mechanism where just people can emerge and have a tremendous impact. A positive impact, you know. Um, now, I have a little history with country music because um, I listen to all kinds of music, by the way. I own every kind of music you can imagine. Um, but country music, particularly the older country music, is, is kind of near and dear to my heart because my grandfather, uh, I've told you this before, my mother's father, we were very, very close. And he was uh, kind of a, he was a country music star in California. So he was kind of regionally famous. And, and in generally in country music, he was known, you know. So he was uh, a recording artist in the 40s. In fact, I think he was amongst one of the first recording artists, that group of, of uh, signed artists at Capitol Records. I think they were established in 1942. And so he was amongst those, you know. And so he made records and uh, toured and had a big band. And uh, he was a studio musician for many of the, the more famous artists. So, you know, he played... A multitude of instruments he sang he had a beautiful singing voice he was a songwriter so I grew up um, he played his whole life he always played for charities and did different things in the community so I always heard I grew up hearing him sing and play music and all different kinds of music country bluegrass y you name it you know folk and so that's just part of my upbringing part of who I am and so uh, this young man so again, professional name is Oliver Anthony, so if you want to Google him, you'll find all kinds of stuff. But his name is Chris. Uh, I just love this guy's, everything about him. The songs are brilliant, and the, the music is great, and it's simple. It's just he and his guitar playing in the forest with his dogs around. And um, so I want to share that this one of the songs with you. There's a couple of them worth listening to, for sure. But this particular song... He's singing to men about what it feels like to be a man living right now. And I played it for Svetlana, you know, just to sort of say, well, what, how do you... And she asked a very good question. She said, well, well when you hear the song, it's, the song is called I Want to Go Home. And what he means by home is home, forever, heaven. And she asked, why, why do men feel this way? So maybe I'll talk about that at some point, but this guy is singing on behalf of all of us men and how we feel right now. So go ahead and take a listen to the song. 
it's a video. And uh, I'll come right back and I'll say a little bit more, okay? All right, so maybe you'll put a song in here, right? So now I'm going to come back. Mm, okay. All right, so I'm just going to say one thing. It's a beautiful song, isn't it? Beautiful voice. The, the guy's incredible, you know. I'm just going to say one piece. Maybe someday I'll get into it further, but essentially what this song means for we men and I'm not talking about on either extremes of men I mean men right down the middle normal working guys normal guys you know we have it um, we feel a duty to solve problems now you ladies have experienced this sometimes it's it's <clears throat> not what you're looking for from us. I understand that. I'm just explaining how we feel. So if if you, you... You've all experienced this, so bear with me here. So when you tell me there's this problem that we're having, what my mind does immediately, and, and the rest of us, is, okay, let's solve it. Let's get it solved. I want to help. I want to help, you know. I want to make, make this right for you. Now I know that's not always what is called for and not always what you want out of us but I'm just this is how we feel and then we have to understand your needs and what you want and need from us because um, you know we, we we're, we're ancient creatures and we just think if someone's hurting you I need to go smash that thing out of existence that's how we feel so this song is kind of trying to express the idea that men at this point in time feel a little bit helpless because given what the world is and the how rapid it has changed and changing that we sometimes feel powerless to be useful really what what, what makes us ha um, I don't want to say happy but content is that we are useful we want to be useful that's the main if you want to understand men decent normal middle of the road men we, we need to be useful, you know, and um, from there, psychologically, what makes us function the best is to feel powerful. Now, what powerful means, I don't mean powerful like with a military, uh, what, what powerful means to us, normal guys, is that given how difficult it is to make a way in this world. Powerful means I can create a family, a quality family life, support you and the children, let's say, and make sure that you have the best life you can, um, as a wife, I'm saying, and that the children have opportunities that we didn't have. So what, what means to be powerful for a man is that the next generation has a better go of it than my generation, you know, and that's just how we think on any given day, and I hope that you'll think about that a little bit and try to understand that on one hand, it's kind of a simple thing, but it's it's complicated to to live out in life, and there's all kinds of variables that we can't control, and it frustrates us, so some of our frustration, which can come out as anger and impatience, is, is is just this that I we feel useless we often feel useless and in the in our modern world where we don't have to um, there's no call to hunt let's say if we're thinking about w what we were and what we are becoming <clears throat> we just don't our role seems to be unclear sometimes other than to not make things worse. Anyway, all of that is in that song, If You're a Man, and you're listening to it. And he's singing to us, about us, and um, it's a wonderful thing. I really love this guy, and I like his sense of humor. He's on, he's everywhere on social media. Um, and if you look at some of his posts, he's, he's got a great sense of humor. And the way that he's conducting himself is, is just great. Um, and I think what we're going to see you know, mark my words on this, I think what we're going to see, if I had to predict, more and more 
independent artists and creators that just for that just for some reason um, different reasons are incompatible with the industries that tend to run those arts so in his case it's music Nashville would be for him and it, it's kind of the same for me with ballet it's not that we don't want to work with people and work with the institutions it's just there's some kind of incompatibility there that I think we um, there's just an understanding and uh, well we're trying to work our way through that but I think um, you're going to see more and more of this of really high quality artists and creators of different sorts emerging over the next let's say five years who are going to really reinvent all of these industries because like Oliver Anthony the music is just from him to us it's just music for people it's just to make you feel better make you think in in really productive ways and I have exactly this same point of view as he does is um, I just want to create really good things for you and that's the end that's really the whole the whole deal you know so anyway uh, check out his music and uh, it'll give you some insight into how men think and um, you know ask me any questions you want I'll, I'm happy to talk about uh, man woman relationships and Svetlana and I will also but if there's anything you want to ask me I will answer you honestly okay alright <laughs>